everyone I'm getting ready to travel and go to London so here's a little bit of me starting basically from um, Salem um, well not Salem I guess uh, Portland Airport and then to LAX and all the little things I did in between I'm not filming too much I'll film more when I get to um, Dublin and hopefully you guys will like it okay um, enjoy the video. Bye. Now it's really snowing. Look at those big flakes. So being the fat person that I am, of course I had to go get some pho. This is vegan pho, so it has tofu and mushrooms and stuff, which is amazing. I got it at the Portland airport at this place right here. Um, I just love going there. I even ended up getting a sandwich for later just in case I arrive in LA and there's nothing vegan close by to eat. And then I also got a vegan donut. Um, I think I want to be sweet on the plane because sometimes I get nauseous. And it's a matcha green tea donut. So, yum! Just goes to show you, you can be vegan and travel. Vegan. Thank you, wherever you are, we're wishing you on the same stars. Coach. And all the stuff you can spend money on. And I'm here at the airport right now on my way basically to Ireland. Um, sorry, I haven't really been doing any videos and stuff. I was going to do some stuff and now I'm back. So, hope you guys enjoy the new videos that I'm about to put up. And um, I will be hitting Dublin, Ireland first. So, hope you guys like it. I'm right here waiting for some avocado sushi um, at the gigantic LAX airport which is full of expensive stores I can't buy one single thing from so anywho see you guys soon I'll show you I'm flying through Ethiopian Airlines so let's see how this airline is I usually fly your region because it's cheaper and it's nice so let's see how this goes okay so first main course um, at this restaurant um, at LAX, it's called this, and I'm having some miso soup. Let's see how it goes, and then I'm gonna have some avocado and veggie rolls. So let's see how that goes. So here is the vegetable roll and the avocado roll, and I'm eating it. It's really good actually very filling especially with the miso soup which I also almost drank already most of it I'm watching a movie while I eat and enjoying my food it's pretty good definitely worth it to eat here I gotta go run to my plane because they changed the hour of departure so here we go hey guys so I am um, going to my terminal right now and I discovered these chairs. I've never seen these kind of chairs before You can actually relax and take it easy I made it okay to Dublin. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the Airbnb that I'll be staying at before I totally destroy it and stuff. So, um, um, hope you guys like it. And just to give you an idea how much I paid, I paid um, uh, 35 US dollars a day to stay here. And I just personally enjoy Airbnbs because 
I like the comfort of home. I'm a very picky eater, so it's nice to be able to make my own food and have the comfort of a washing machine so I don't have to pack a ton of stuff because I'm moving to London and this is all I came with. This backpack and I mean this suitcase and then this backpack and that's it. So further ado, here comes my Airbnb room. So this is the front door. You come in, they have these old fashioned locks with the key that you have to put in there and like turn it. It's actually kind of freaking awesome. And then, so this is the front door. You walk in and this is what you see. It's a small apartment. This is the European washing machines and it's a washer dryer combination. And as you can see, they're really small. You can't put that much clothes in there. I got a coffee pot, I got a microwave, toaster, one of the tiny European fridges like always. And my bag just fell. I got a stove, I got a drippy faucet. And um, everything, it comes with everything. You know what I'm saying? So if I stayed at a hotel, I would have to spend so much money to freaking eat out. And then I may not even like the freaking food. And then that's just money going down the drain. So i rather go to the grocery store, buy local stuff, and just make my own food, you know? And then so, and then this is the window. And then they have a cool motorcycle and a little cabin outside. The TV, and then the cool place the cool thing they have a playstation which i don't use but um i'm assuming it's to watch dvds because they have dvds there for me to watch <sighs> then there's a little table here and it has um stools on the bottom so i can sit down and eat like a proper food and there's my bag all over the floor there is a welcome package of things to do in the area which is perfect because i did not really plan a lot of stuff i was more concerned with dun dun trying to pack that suitcase and this is the heater on the wall and then you come over here and this is the bathroom um and that's me looking adorable and then these people provide you there's a scale over here and then they have like shampoos and stuff you can use they have feminine products razors extra toilet paper um, facial wipes that they provide you on um, their shampoo right there for the shower very simple there's a mirror and then this is the bedroom so I am staying here by myself so I'm just gonna use the other the other bed has a you know oh and look they have extra blankets oh Mexico style nice and hangers in here oh and an extra towel and then oh these people have a kayak and oh look at that like a bamboo oh cute all right, so this is my Airbnb tour. I hope you guys liked it. In case you're curious, oh, look, and they even have a rain poncho for me to be able to use. Shoot, look at that. I'll be fashion, fashionable here in Ireland. All right, I'm super tired. I need to take a shower and go to bed because it was a horrible flight. So, all right, you guys, bye for now.